All right, y'all, I'm gonna be real with you. I've been looking forward to this since I recorded last time, and the only thing stopping me has been, uh, needing to get the last videos edited. So, let's fucking rock! Yeah? It's dark. Where is this? Punch. Punch. I went out of here. Why did I join the police? Well, I guess you could say I was looking for something. Let me out of this cage! What am I gonna name my kid when he's born? Hmm, it's gotta be a good manly name I can trust. <laughs> Get out of this darkness, now! Let me out! Let me out of here! Calm down, Kiji. <clears throat> Don't be so quick to resort to punching. Surely I taught you that. Right, Kiji? <laughs> Coffin went silent. Yeesh, so you finally settled down. He must be awfully scared of his execution. <laughs> Why did this happen? Kiji's lost the fight against Midori. And now he's trapped in the center coffin. Since the dummies' lives were on the line, they weren't able to assist us. Because of that, there's now a rift between us and the dummies. What can we do? Kiji! I want us all to get along, but we can't! Mm. It's not that we want to antagonize you, but... <sighs> it's not our fault. At this rate, Kiji will really get executed! <laughs> Fix it, Sarah! What do we do now? We have to save Mr. Policeman! If only the dummies had assisted, surely we wouldn't be in this situation. <clears throat> Why'd this happen? Midori is looking gleefully my way. Uh, unless... <laughs> so much for your show of pretending to get along with the dummies. Hmm, fine. Let Kiji out of that coffin! I told you, there's only one way to save him. Just sign this, and I'll tell you. Uh, hold on! I don't... I don't even know what this says! No time to worry about that, surely. The coffin's execution timer is already ticking down. By the time all this sand has fallen, he'll be getting torched. You'll be smelling delicious Kiji steak! Stop it! Ah, uh, I can't wait. This is my first time using this fancy new coffin. I wonder just how he'll die. Uh, I won't let you execute him! You... you can't! <laughs> Then let me hear your answer. Oh, you do, hmm? Dory, he's serious. That consent form. In essence, it must be a slave contract, agreeing to whatever might be written there. Mm. Fuck him. Abandon him? No, I could never! <laughs> Why the hesitation? Mm. Mm. Huh? I won't let you. Bo oh no! Hang on! Wait! Wait! It was a prank! Bro, it was a prank! Stop! Renmaru! You tore it up? You fool! Huh? M Mr. Policeman. Mm. Who is this little creature? Oh, that's not a little creature. That's the... That's the... That's the... That's the hourglass. Uh, Renmaru, what's good, brother? Please, explain yourself! This is just cruel! Do you even care about saving Kiji? Maybe so. If you killed Maduri now, we dummies would die, objective incomplete. But then Kiji went and picked a fight knowing that full well, didn't he? Yeah, he's getting his just desserts, reckless dumbass! You! As I feared, our groups are just incompatible. There's, there's no way we can cooperate now. The air is chilly. 
We've been torn apart. Too far apart to walk back to a compromise. But I don't care about that right now. I need to know why he'd do such a thing. And Maru! Don't fall into their hands, Sarah. Hmm? Hello? What are you on about? Just listen to me. Kiji, what are you thinking about right now? Hmm. Kiji's voice comes weakly from the coffin. It's all my fault. I thought I'd avenge him, so I... Hmm. Oh, that's not it either. I tried to put all the blame on Midori for everything. For both the fact that I shot my idol. And for me not saving Megumi in the first trial. Even though those were my own actions. Taro put his life on the line to build a bond with the dummies, and I just... I... Hmm. If I just die here, I guess I can't complain. What are you saying? Keiji! Hmm. I ain't letting you die. Huh? We're gonna save you. Ourselves. Without relying on Midori's damn contract. Huh? We? Speak for yourself. You still want to be buddies with these guys? We betrayed them first. We stabbed Kataro to survive. And he forgave us, right? Now, it's our turn to forgive them. You trying to say that we'll be even then? Hmm. Doesn't it frustrate you? We're just Midori's toys. First he kills us, then he brings us back to put collars on us and be used. We didn't even try to act while Sarah and the others were fighting. So scared to die that we can't even resist. That just makes us... his puppets. <clears throat> but we're humans. We create our own choices. And I'm not gonna play along with Midori's puppet show anymore. Create your own choices. Hmm. I understand. I'm sure I can believe those words. Right. There certainly is a way to say them. I wouldn't want to lie in a negotiation, you see. And you swear as much as a floor master, yes? But, you know, I think it'll be too difficult for the likes of you. I'm certain Kiji will die. I can hardly wait. <laughs> he left. Well, I guess we have no choice but to act. We'll be okay. We still got time. Just so we're clear, I'm not going to help. <clears throat> At any rate, first we need new leads. We gotta look for a way to save Keiji! Masakurilla, I think you should rest. Ugh. Damn, she did. I'm not a toy either. I'm a human. Which is why I don't want to die. I want you to understand, Sarah. I wonder what we should do. Renmaru gave a stirring speech, to be sure, but if you want to save him so bad, do as you please. That's right. Now isn't the time to bicker. Kana will do her best to think of something. She's trying. Enough quarreling for now. We and the dummies aren't truly enemies. Big Sis Sarah, I don't want you to sign that weird form either. So, let's save Mr. Policeman together. Midori won't save us. Kurmata and the others, I'm sure they know that. D damn it! Some writing on the stone monument. Okay, want to elaborate? Inspect the coffin. This is the coffin the Midori was in at first, but nothing looks suspicious about it, but... When the sand reaches the bottom, the cremation device will activate. I... I can't let that happen. Kiji, how are you feeling? Uh, it's kind of dark and cramped. He's sounding more and more like his usual self. You know, a lot of thought of a way to open this coffin. Huh? Open the map. Look at floor 5. In the center is the control room. Oh, I gotta... Remember anything of interest there? What's he referring to? Uh... He means this. He means that. Come on. He means... Is this collar? 
home. You mean the collar Midori had on at first? I picked it up and now Kiji has it. Sorry to say, but not what I'm talking about. I guess I phrased it badly. A certain monitor caught my interest. You mean the one I clicked on? A monitor. That one. This monitor. I clicked on that! You fucker! I clicked on that! I remember the screen. It said, coffin control system. Could this be a monitor controlling the coffins on this floor? Maybe it could even open the coffins up. Yep, seems worth looking into, right? This game has no rhyme or reason to it. Hmm, <laughs> you sound awfully cocky. Guess we gotta go check. Please, just hold on, Kiji. Down on you, partner. Sorry, I ain't moving anytime soon. Stand in for me, will you, Sarah? He looks pained. I want to get him proper treatment. My still motionless. All right. Planning on going to the control room? Shorty, don't just sulk. You come too. She can't. Her head will fall off. Did you forget about the collar pairing? If I get too far from Kiji, my collar explodes. Right, Hinako was paired with Kiji. In the end, we're slaves robbed of our freedom. We just have to kill our masters or we'll never be free. Mm. Take a reality check, you people. Mm. Okay. All right, take the helm, Sarah Chidwin. Me? I don't really mind, but it might be better for someone who knows a bit more about machines could... Uh, I'll give it a try. Hopefully my work experience can come in handy. You really gonna help her? <laughs> Hisaka hesitantly works on the machine. Huh? What's the matter? Could you look at the middle machine for me? What's this? Gimmick security. Level 0 unlocked, level 1 locked, level 2 locked. Seems to be security for the various devices. I suppose the more important the gimmick, the higher the level security on it. In other words, if we could just disable it. If we can disable the security, we might even be able to open the coffins in the cemetery. Hmm. <laughs> if we could find a way to do so, that is. Well, what about this, for one? That's a fingerprint scanner. If we put the right finger on this panel, we'll all be seeing a path forward now. Let's all put our fingers on it. Everyone present put their fingers to it, but there's no response. <laughs> Thinking about it logically, perhaps Midori's fingerprint is the key. Uh, we don't know for sure yet. Let's have Muscle Gorilla and the others in the cemetery try it too. No, Kataro is badly injured. He can't exactly move from there. Come to think of it, there might be a first aid kit to treat his wounds in the office. Uh, really, suit and specs? I did work at a medical equipment company, so... The office. Let's go check. The office. Oh, I guess it's gonna be right there, ladies and gentlemen. Shelves are full of documents and medical supplies. There really are medical supplies here. Whew, that's good. Let's take anything that might be useful. I'll help. Take the first aid kit. Alright. Back downstairs. Uh. My, you're awake? Mm -hmm. My, how are you feeling? Absolutely awful. I, I failed. Everything is over. After I tried so hard to act harmless, too. <clears throat> Don't go blaming her, Sarah. Taro. Didn't I tell you? We'll be real allies. What in the world? Are you being serious? You bet your ass I'm serious! <laughs> so give up trying to kill me. And instead, let's think of how to leave together. <laughs> I don't... I don't get you. I, I tried to kill you, remember? How can you say that to someone who stabbed you in the back? Stop it! I'm horrible! I'm the, the worst! Uh, that doesn't change nothing. 
If I were in your shoes, I'd have done the same thing. Just didn't get the opportunity to. We're all the same. Our hearts have been reduced to a pulp. Pushed to the brink, we can only think about us being allies. That's all it is. So, I'm gonna make you regret it. Regret giving us new allies, that is! Mm. However you try to explain it to me, I just don't get it. My. Sorry, I ain't moving anytime soon. Stand in for me. Uh, hey, we found a first aid kit. Show us that wound again. You serious? Ow! 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 Stop that! You shouldn't move. Katara's wounds are treated. Oh, real grateful. Sorry, everybody. Hmm. If you feel sorry, then come with us. But why do I gotta do that? Soon you shall understand your role. I'll deem to lend you a shoulder. Oh, hold on. Let me... Let me do it. Mm. I swear, I won't get any more funny ideas. Please, I... I gotcha. My, let me lean on your shoulder. Right. How nice to see, even after all the stabbing. You planning to go make friends with that mummy monster from before then? Shut up! <laughs> The joke there is that um, if you take too long to kill the mummy guy, uh, she dies. A fingerprint scanner, huh? We'll try it too. Katara put his finger on the sensor, but the machine showed no response. Dang useless fingerprints! Sure enough, it didn't work. Well, I suppose I'll try too. Mai put her finger on the sensor. Huh? Fingerprint authentication successful. Why did my fingerprint... The monitors. Oh, no. Dead collar control system. Dummies control system. Hmm? Oh, on this screen you can check the status of the dummies' bodies. Whoa, what the... It's the Shin AI. It appears he'll explain for us. Uh, currently being displayed is the information on Ranmaro Kageyama. In the center, you can see that the remaining battery for the head and torso. Battery? It's gone down this much? The head and torso have a separate battery? Uh, the right and left hands display your upgrade parts. Upgrade parts? When the world are... Also, if there's personal info you want, such as preferences, learn knowledge, or the people he likes, Keep thinking about the upgrade parts, everybody. Hmm. Hmm. If these are hand parts, maybe there's something you can equip? Right. Good point. My hands, huh? Huh? My hand. My hand! Ah! Get cut and eat candy! Calm down! Ah! 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 Uh, uh, I'm really a doll, huh? What? I mean, sure, I, I did know that. But still, some part of me just thought maybe. Hmm. Hope. He hadn't completely given up. Even being shown a video of his own death. Somewhere deep down, he still felt as if he were human. Now, he's had reality thrust in front of him. The reality of what he is. Ranmaru. Hmm. How worthless. Huh? Dolls shouldn't cry over such trifles. To have hope, even when you think to yourself you've given up. That's human. Having contradictory emotions, it, it pains us. Couldn't you say that you're awfully human right now? Mm. So, don't let such foolish things sadden you. For you are alive, Renmaru Kageyama. Ugh. Alice. Stand up already. We haven't the time. Mm. Can you stand, Renmaru? Mm. Okay. 
So, man, you are blubbering on the floor. Huh? I, I, I wasn't crying. <laughs> That's a bit of a bold claim. Okay, uh, let me look at that again. Uh, preferences. Preferences. I can answer that for you later, right? So what are you gonna know? What's this remaining battery? The head and torso both have a decent amount of charge left. If the battery for either runs out, it's over, so be careful. So what do you want to know? Nothing. Thanks, Jin. Uh, let's look at the dead collar system. What's all this? This screen lets you mess with the function of the dummy's collars. The parent function causes the collars to explode if they get too far from the designated survivor. The life sensor function enables exploding when the dummy runs out of battery. What the hell? I didn't hear nothing about that. If not for that, the dummies could just recharge to come back to life, see? Charge? So, which function do you want to modify? Uh, let's do the pairing. Pairing is currently on. What will you do? I'm gonna turn it off. Mm. You serious? You're gonna give us free roam? Mm. Hinako will be glad to hear it. Cause it'll make it easier for her to take your lives. Mm. If you're fine with that, go ahead and do it. Mm. Kuramata. You, you want to be sure whether you can really trust us, don't you? In that case, we should demonstrate it. The red lines that denote us master and servant? Chains shackled to us so that we would kill each other. None of that's necessary. Because I know we're strongest when we can trust each other. So, now the pairing is disabled, right? Hmm. Well, I better go tell... Well, we'd better go tell Hanako. All together! Ah, oh, I can't turn it back on! Ah, lame! Blue, there's one blue. It's showing more than before! We can use this now! Alright! Let's keep an eye on the cameras and see what we can do. What would you like to do? Uh, open shutter. Alright, let's do it! Huh? Nothing happened. What now? Try something else. Uh, close the shutter. Oh! What? It's not for the coffins, it's for the entrance. We can't go to the cemetery now? Uh, let's try to open it back up. Goodness, it wasn't a trap then. But it's strange. This is supposed to be the coffin control system. Seems we'll have to disable the level 2 security then. The fingerprint wasn't enough? Hmph, huh, as I thought, it wouldn't be that simple. Don't give up, there must still be a way. That might be all there is to inspect here. I'll head back to the cemetery for now. Hanako is waiting. Hey, you, listen. Just a moment ago, the shutter closed and blocked the entrance. That was us. We explained everything to Hinako. You... you turned off the pairing? Yeah, it's true. Uh... Hey, Hinako? Kuramata? Let's make up with Sarah and everyone, okay? This isn't some joke. How are you planning to survive doing that? If there was a way for both survivors and dummies to live, then tell us. Then, can you kill him? Mm. Because I can't do it. I can't kill them when they're so nice. Mm. Mm. It's still impossible. I, I can't just take a hand being held out to me. You mean... Mm. An ID card. If you have an ID card, you might be able to disable another layer of security. What's the meaning of this? My, remember when we were woken up? Um... I remember there was this strange machine. Uh, Midori was in front of it. And to use the machine, he used a card with his photo on it. 
That's what you mean by an ID card. Hmm. It'd be to my dent benefit to let Kiji die. But I'd feel disgusting not paying the favor. Hanako. Hmm. So that card would be in Midori's possession. Let's question him. Let's go together. You too, Hanako. Hmm. All right, fine. Shake it. Mmm, feeling a little queasy. Shake it around a little. Kiji, how you faring? I'd kill for a pillow. Once we get it open, I'll let you sleep with Mewchan. <laughs> oh my gosh! Ah, finally share it with me, huh? You tried to borrow it before? <laughs> That's cute. Alright, uh, library. Huh? No Baduri? I could have sworn he was here. Uh, come on, we need that ID card. Something's on the desk. A transceiver? One of transceivers and his ID card. Seriously? This is, isn't this it? What's going on? Did he go somewhere and leave his stuff behind? He wanted us to find this. That's strange, isn't it? This is curious. I think He's doing this on purpose. We have both transceivers. Voice recorder. Okay. Let's move it. L let's use that ID card we found. There's a slot for a card here. This is too suspicious. Hold on. This is just suspicious. But it's the same card Hinako remembers, ain't it? It's got Midori's photo. But there's no way Midori would forget something so important. Still. Don't use that. So, no, the Shin AI. That card's a fake. If you put it in the machine, it'll activate a trap. Thanks, Shin. So, we really did almost fall for a trap? That was a close one. Put down the ID card. I'll talk if you want. Things seem pretty tough for you, after all. Uh... Think so. What do you want to talk about? Uh, talk about Midori. Please tell us more about Midori, the one you know as Hayori. Hmm. Hayori. Well, he. He's researching human memory. He's a researcher. Well, ever since he was little, um, he really loved humans. <laughs> what? He loved them so much that, um. He would break them, apparently. Yeah. Uh, what makes him hurt? What makes him suffer? What pains him physically? What pains him mentally? What do they learn? What do they remember? What do they forget? He'd play with humans he got involved with until he was he'd exhausted them. It seems. Hey, are you being serious? Day after day, he'd make many a human his test subject. And doing that, he learned the ways of manipulating memory. Gaslighting. Is that kind of thing possible? It doesn't seem easy, of course, but with the right conditions and equipment, it's possible to an extent. Hmm. If our memories disappeared, how do we remember them? Hmm. I don't know, but... He already wants you to remember him. So who knows, maybe he prepared something. That's all I know. All right, well then tell me about the ID card. Please, tell us where the ID card is. Don't tell anyone I told you, all right? This was a while ago, but Yuri was whistling while working on a machine. His eyes were glistening as if he was one thinking, I wonder if everyone's having fun. Then Miss Maple showed up. Maple? Miss Maple yelled and cried and laughed and pleaded with him, saying she wanted to be with him forever. Even Hiori had to give in, it seems. So he reluctantly wrote a letter. But when he gave it to her, Miss Maple wouldn't leave. So with no other choice, he gave her his ID card. So Maple has his ID card now? Would she give it to us? <laughs> I'm thinking there's no way. She'll definitely get mad. She'll kill you. You should give up on that. 
Sounds pretty dangerous. 